Steve Vignani here for the Asset or Auctioneers Great Texas Mopar Horde Sale Event. This is item number 35, a 1955 Plymouth Plaza two-door coupe. It's one of a whole bunch of 55 Plymouths, in fact. There's four of them right here that'll all be sold. Uh, four doors, two doors, automatic sticks. But this one's kind of neat. It's basically complete. And again, the Plaza was the base level Plymouth in 1955. And 55 was a big year for Plymouth. First year for an optional V8 ever. And also the first year for the all new body style, which was longer and lower than the 54 and earlier ones, which were kind of lumpy and not so nice to look at. Uh, the grill on this one is beautiful. Great chrome. The bumper is pretty decent. I don't see a whole lot of rust. It spoke under the hood. And yes, although you could get the High Fire V8 277 cubes, this one has the 230 cubic inch flathead six, which again served Plymouth and Chrysler and Dodge from 36 through 59. Manual drum brakes, of course, manual steering. This was a pretty austere daily commuter. Does have uh, a heater. We can see that against the uh, firewall. Let's take a peek through the window if we can open the door. Okay, the door is locked, but if we take a peek inside, <clears throat> this is a three-speed manual. The shifter is right there on the steering column. Uh, it does have an AM radio, but if we look closely, those two chrome buttons on each side of that rectangular center, those are buttons. That is an aftermarket Motorola add-on radio. So rather than spending the 45 bucks for the AM radio from the factory, the owner of this car, or maybe the second owner, purchased the Motorola accessory radio at the parts store and put it in. So that's a pretty rare old piece right there. Now let's check out with the magnets, see what kind of condition we're looking at here on this one. And while I see some bubbling happening on the front fender, <clears throat> a little bit right there, that's pretty typical stuff. You know, it's otherwise original paint, no efforts to fix that rust, which is good. I'd rather see this than putty and Bondo and all kinds of mystery. Uh, the rocker panel, yes, it does have the usual rust down low, but there are reproduction patches available for this. And here at the quarter panel, looking pretty darn good right here. That's solid and the magnet sticks, of course. Original paint on this one, no doubt about that. I love the painted rims, 15 inch rims with the original Plaza base level poverty caps in the middle. Quarter panels on this one, very, very nice. Super solid. Let's take a peek inside of the trunk, see what kind of goodies we find. And here we have here, the dealership sold it was Perkins, Colorado Springs, Colorado. That's the original dealer sold this car. And inside the trunk, Okay, the trunk looks pretty decent. The original trunk mat is still here. The original spare tire. Look at this, a vintage uh, Dunlop tire with the 15 inch rim. Let's have a peek underneath, see if there's any secrets. I don't want to tear this any worse than it is, but we can see here, yeah, the body colored metal. I don't think this is very rusty at all, if at all. Let's have a look here underneath this. And yeah, oh, look at that body colored metal no rot on this one that's sweet license plate says Colorado 1995 last time this was on the road legally uh, around this side the quarter panel looks equally nice down here a little bit of a dent but again I don't see any rust the magnet sticks really well original light blue paint down here a little bit of bubbling happening but again I'd rather see this than somebody's uh, you know pile of plastic uh, filler uh, a little bit of a body scrape here, and yeah, again, this door is locked. But otherwise, nice solid car, small rust here. But what we have here is a car that you could either get running again with the six banger, or again, because it's a body on frame car, you could take this body, fill in the patch panels, make it sweet again, paint it, and then mount it on a roadster shop chassis with maybe a Hellcat engine, independent suspension, and turn it into a, a resto rod. But again, this is lot number 35, a 1955 Plymouth Plaza, Tudor, original paint, they're only original one time, bid accordingly.